Hey everybody, hope you all had a happy holidays and uh, got a lot of cool drones and RC stuff for Christmas. Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Furby F36. We'll get the box a little closer here. Furby is actually your best um, house brand now. And um, this might look kind of familiar because it is similar looking to the JJR CH36. So when I've looked into this in uh, research, this one actually flies better. I don't own the uh, JJRC version, but this one flies extremely well. I'm just really impressed with this uh, ducted fan, you know, four blade propeller, a uh, little uh, quadcopter. Um, a lot of people like to use these as what they call the tiny whoops, where they add a little FPV, uh, uh, 5.8 gigahertz camera onto these and uh, fly them around your house. It's really cheap. This one is around $13, $14, and it flies so well. It's, you know, it's got two rates, a low and a high, and the yaw does increase um, with the rates, but it flies so well. I'm just I'm really impressed. It does 3D flips extremely well, very, very tight flips. It's just, it's almost like doing this, you know, right here. I mean, it's, it raises up a little bit and really tight flips. It also does funnels extremely well. You know, I can do funnels down and you'll see my flight review with no problem. It's just right there spinning in a tight little uh, funnel. So I don't need a large area. Many of these um, nanos and micros that I review, I have trouble doing 3D uh, funnels because it's just not enough room or they just don't do them well enough. So just really, really cool uh, the way it does all that. Just flies really, really, really well. Uh, it's also got um, here on the front, it's got um, a red LED. It's just like right under the nose here. And then on the back, it's got a blue one. So that's what you use for your orientation. There's obviously no lights around the motor pods or these uh, you know, the, the uh, fan ducts here. But they're pretty bright, so whenever I, you know, even on the highest rate, the yaw is pretty quick. I'm able to regain orientation really easy by locating the, the LEDs on the front or back to see which direction I'm facing. Um, it comes with a 150 milliamp uh, little LiPo, the pretty standard connector. So these are easy to locate and find. I'm, I'm sure GearBest sells extras for this. If not, this is a pretty common battery. You can't see on this one the uh, the riding for it, but it is 150 milliamp, I've checked. It's just, the riding's kind of rubbed off. Of course, it's just a 1S LiPo. You get about five and a half minutes flight time with about a 10 second low voltage alarm. Um, so not a real long low voltage cutoff, the LVC, but you know, you're finding these indoors mostly. That's not that big a deal. This one would have no problem outdoors if there's no wind. It flies really, really well. Um, so it takes about a half an hour or so to charge it. Pretty typical. The charger that comes with it is a USB charger with the little plug you plug into the battery. It has a red light that goes on and off whenever it's finished. Um, I think it uh, comes on and it goes off whenever it's finished so you know it's done. Uh, it comes also with a full set of extra um, props and a Phillips screwdriver. Um, it's nice they include the extra props, but I just don't really think you're probably going to need them because it's so well protected within the ducts here that I don't see how these are going to get damaged. But in case somehow one would, you've got extras. Let's go ahead and go over the controller. It's one of these little peanut, you know, tiny controllers, but I have no troubles flying it, especially being a thumb flyer. Uh, the pitch and the uh, roll trims are fully functional. What would normally be your yaw trim, that is going to be for your rates. Like I said, there's a low and a high. And uh, you just press that in either direction and it beeps once or twice. And uh, it'll go to your low and high. Like I said, the yaw does increase, but even on the lowest rate, the yaw and the pitch is fine. It's easy to fly. The highest rate, the yaw gets really quick, but not crazy. And it has a little more pitch, a little sportier. But I have no troubles flying. I fly in either rate. Um, but the, uh, you know, with it being so well protected, you can bump it into walls and it's just gonna keep going. It's pretty hard to crash this thing. So even in my flight review, you'll see I intentionally bump it into my walls just so I can show you how stable it is and how protected it is. Let's see, to uh, do 3D flips, which it does really well, as I mentioned, you press in on the right stick and then you just direction you wanna go, it beeps, and then you press it the way you wanna go. To enter headless mode, you press down on the left stick and it's entered headless mode. You press down again to exit it. It says it has one key return, but I don't see any place in instructions of where it does that. So you just simply, uh, when you're in headless mode, you're just going to uh, press it back the opposite direction that you took, the you know, direction you were facing and bring it back. Cause that's all one key return is, is just simply pulling back and bringing it back the opposite direction that you're facing when it took off. To calibrate the gyros, um, you pull down and to the right until the lights quit flashing. 
and to reset the headless mode direction that you're facing it's down to the left and it's a slower flash until it stops let me just check my notes here and make sure that we went over everything I think so. So there's not a whole lot to cover. Just a really neat little quadcopter at a really affordable price. So let's move along now to the flight review. Okay, back with the flight review for the Furby F36. Hopefully we can see this good enough in the light here down in the basement. Um, this is the uh, Furby F36. Um, this is Furby is a new brand from a uh, Gear Best own uh, house brand. And this is a little uh, ducted fan, um, you know, four blade propeller, um, kind of a tiny whoop, um, as you could say, base or starter. A lot of people like to put a little FPV camera on the top of these type of quadcopters. But this is just a really nice flyer. Very agile, very, very stable. Um, just, I'd like flying it in the highest rate, but it's fine in either rates. It's really easy to fly. Really impressed with how this flies, and it's not very expensive. I want to think it's around $13. Um, it's not very expensive at all. A really, really nice flying uh, quadcopter. Great for flying around the house. The batteries are really standard, you know, 150 milliamp LiPo with, you know, a really uh, standard little uh, connector. So these batteries are going to be super easy to find and super cheap. So let's go ahead and plug it in and take it up for a test flight. Just plug it in. It has no on and off switch, but that's pretty common. Go ahead and turn on the little controller. You do not do a binding sequence. You just simply wait and it will the lights will blink and then it'll go solid. You see in that, I'm seeing that more and more now. Instead of doing the binding sequence, you just simply wait. And, you know, I think it's just an easier thing than, you know, it's, you've seen it more and more now in these quadcopters. So I'm going to go ahead now and take it up here and we have it in the lowest rate. See, very, very stable. Very, very quiet too. There's the yaw. Pretty nice yaw for the lowest rate. The uh, controller works fine. You know, being small, you know, I have no problems with it. I just have to get used to the throttle. That's why you kind of see it first. I'm kind of going up and down. So I'm getting used to how much I need throttle I need to, get, to give it. Though I've flown this many times already. I'm getting about five and a half minutes flight time, which is not at all bad. Um, the, the LVC is only about 10 seconds, so it's not very long. Bring it back around. Let's go ahead and. You hit the uh, um, yaw trim button, and that takes the rate up. So now we got more pitch. You can see the yaw is a lot faster, but the yaw is still, you know, I think it's just fine. It's almost, you know, I think you know, for a beginner it might be a little too quick, but I don't have any problems with it, especially if you pay attention to these orientation lights. The blue is the back, and the red is the front. But the thing I think is most impressive, I'm going to bring over here so you can see a little better, is the uh, the ability to flip. I'm hoping that this doesn't get washed out by my by my light over here. So I'm going to turn my light away a little bit, so I just don't make it too hard to see the 3D flips. The flips are just excellent. So you just push down the right stick, and just and you can see how tight those flips are. Very, very, very good flipping uh, quadcopter. I mean, it's just so stable. Bring it right up in front of me and just do a flip. It is just really tight flips. So it's just an excellent flipping quadcopter. Um, I'm usually not a super big fan of doing flips, um, but I really find it fun to do in this one because it does it so well. Um, it's not sloppy and at all. As, as a quadcopter gets low, right before it, uh, the battery, right before it gets to the LVC, it will not let you do flips. So. If you can't do a flip, then you know it's about time to uh, go ahead and land it. Well, and another thing it does really well are funnels. It's just such a good flyer, and that could be partially with the ducted fans, direct in the airflow. It's just really stable, and it's uh, got a lot of power and thrust. You can see there's a the funnel. Well, look at that. I mean, that many of the little nano, you know, and micro-sized quadcopters I test down here. I just don't have enough room to do a funnel. I just you need more room where they just can't do it tight enough. But this one you can see, this is impressive. So I just I highly recommend this very very good quadcopter. You can just bring it up here. It's so stable. Just land it right in your hand. 
to do a gyro calibration, you know, stuff I already mentioned at the table review, but won't hurt to go over it again. It's just a pressing both sticks down and to the right. Not that this bed isn't the best surface to do it on, but it'll just to demonstrate down and to the right, and you'll see the lights flash until they stop. Down and to the left, we'll set your headless mode, and then that's done. I don't use the headless mode. Now it says it has one key return, but I think you just put it in headless mode and pull back, and that's your one key return. Just pull the opposite direction, which is pretty much what all one key return is. So, cause I can't see. It mentions it, but I don't see any option and instructions to actually tell it to come back. So. See, if you bump, I, wanted to, I wanted to show that if you bump into stuff, you can see how because of the the, you know the prop guard ducted fans you know act as really good prop guards you're not going to crash this thing real easy you can bump it into stuff see and it just keeps going this also will fly outside if you don't have much of a breeze some of the other ones i think the jjr ch36 which just looks just like this isn't as good as this one and they can't handle outdoors at all but this one can't so i think this one is just fine to fly outside as long as it's calm and it's not going to be able to handle a lot of wind. I just like, I really like the funnels and like I said the flips. See, it's still got plenty of battery. So this is definitely a very, very good quadcopter. Great little uh, quadcopter to practice indoors uh, for your, you know, keep your flight skills. Keep your flight skills, you know, good and they don't get rusty here in the winter time if you live in a cold climate like myself where you can't fly your big drones outside as much in the winter. This is a great quadcopter to practice with inside. It's just really stable and uh, easy to fly indoors. Well, I think that pretty much demonstrates all you need to see. I mean, I could keep flying this thing all, all evening, but I only got, I may have another battery around that fits this. I haven't looked, but... uh these are pretty standard batteries but uh, that's just this great little quadcopter so like i said you can check out the product uh, uh the sorry the video description and there should be a link to it in there i said this is only from gear best because this is their house brand so check it out and uh hopefully you know this is something that a lot of people buy because i think this is a really good deal at this price range you know, i usually don't um you know, I'll try to press people to buy things a whole lot. You know, I just want to give an honest review. But this one's such a good quadcopter and so cheap, I just feel like, you know, it's a steal at the price. So, all right, well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. So I appreciate you watching, and make sure to please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to stay tuned for more videos. Have a good evening, and uh, Happy New Year to everybody.